some clouds in Springfield this midday. It's 58 degrees and, and that uh, we did hit 60, some lower 60s earlier. Temperatures are starting to fall because we've got north and west winds at 9 miles per hour. That tells me that the front is through Springfield, so we'll start to find temperatures fall through the rest of the day. We've got clouds out there pretty thick through most of the area and a couple of lighter showers along the front. The front is right in between Springfield and Branson. We've got north winds in Springfield, still winds out of the south in Branson. A couple of lighter showers along the front from Nixa, Rogersville, Galena, and then over towards Marshfield. Again, they're pretty light and spotty down to a drizzle. And we'll continue to work these showers southward as the front works southward. So again, the front pretty much sitting almost right over Springfield right now, continuing to work its way south, and then it will stall there on the overnight tonight. Temperatures will start to fall. We're already in the 40s up in Clinton. It's 58 degrees in Springfield, holding on to 60s in the south. But now that we get this north wind to start coming in, we'll have some cooler temperatures work their way southward through the day. Again, it's just going to start to get chillier from here on out. That cooler air on its way in. Temperatures already tumbling 15 degrees from where they were yesterday. So hour by hour, that front continues to work its way south and east with some of those lighter showers. We wind up in the 50s by the end of the day today. Uh, and uh, again, we'll keep those clouds. Then as the front stools, that's going to open up this pathway for a round of steady and locally heavy rain to work its way south along and uh, near that state line. So we'll have that on the overnight tonight. Most of it exits by tomorrow morning with left foot clouds in 30s, but the core of the storm still needs to pass through. We're not done with it yet, so that last piece comes through tomorrow afternoon. We keep mostly cloudy skies and a couple of showers as that happens. The last bit of precipitation as it's exiting Friday night and temperatures dip closer to freezing could fall in the form of a few snowflakes, but with the precipitation being really light and temperatures being borderline near freezing, I'm not expecting any wintry impacts there. So the rain forecast, especially for tonight, near an inch uh, long and near that state line, uh, you know, higher totals going into Arkansas, looking at about a half an inch in Springfield and then totals much lighter to go to the north and west. So again, a few showers along that front today. We're already starting to fall through the 50s in Springfield. If you're still in the 60s, you won't be for that much longer. A round of steady at times heavy rain sets up to the south overnight tonight. That could drop one to one and a half inches of rain near the state line and into Arkansas. Some localized flooding is a concern there. Chilly showers hang around on Friday could end as a few flurries, especially to the north and central Missouri, but I'm not expecting any wintry impacts out of that. Temperature is now in the 50s, right? We hit our high for today, so around 58 degrees by dismissal with these falling temperatures continuing on those north winds. The winds could gust to 30 miles per hour at times. We keep clouds and showers. Showers overnight tonight, some of that steadier rain to the south on north winds, 36 degrees. 42 tomorrow, mostly cloudy and chilly, north winds and a couple of showers. Uh, we bring back the sunshine on Saturday. Temperatures stay below average in the 40s. A really nice November day on Sunday. Temperatures near and a little bit above average in the upper 50s with sunshine. Breezy and warmer Monday. We could have a windswept rain on Tuesday. We're keeping an eye out on.